Alright guys, Dominic here for KitGuru and today we can present an unboxing and first look of NVIDIA's new RTX 5090 graphics card. So, I'm doing this before I start any testing, I have not even opened the outer box as I thought we could do it all together. I'm just going to be filming this kind of as a live style video, I'm not really going to be doing much editing, I've got no script, nothing particularly to say. I don't know what's in the box apart from the graphics card, so yeah, we're going to... Take, take you guys along for the ride. I figured we can't show any performance yet, but we might as well take a look at what comes inside your brand new shiny RTX 5090, as after all, it does cost $2,000 or nearly 1,900 yeah, 1,939 British pounds, I'm pretty sure. I do have a second camera set up, it's only my iPhone, I'm not unfortunately uh, blessed like Leo is to have seven Panasonic S5 Mark IIs, but I'm going to try my best, if it's not very good quality, you probably won't even see it. But without further ado, I've got the outer box here, and I know there's a pull tab somewhere. Pull. Yeet that away, um, and you might be able to see it says, what does it say, inspired by gamers, enhanced by AI, so I'm reading this upside down, inspired by gamers, enhanced by AI, built by NVIDIA, just as you tear along the line, very nice. And it's telling me this is the right way up, this is giving me kind of um, Pulp Fiction vibes, what's in the briefcase, oh my word, okay. That is not what I was expecting. Let me turn it around so you guys can see. Um, obviously, I don't know if you know this, but I know this. It's been a different box design from the 20 series to the 30 series to the 40 series, and now to the 50 series. So I'll tilt that so you can see. Um, not at all what I was expecting. It looks, yeah, I don't know. It's all kind of beigey, cardboardy. Oh, look, tabs open, so you can lift it out. Oh, okay, so the shipping box is kind of also the box because there's some accessories down there. Uh, so the graphics card is in here. Why don't we pop that to the side for now, and we'll have a look at what's in the in the in the box. You can, I'll lift it up for you so you can see. It's hopefully you can see that. Yeah, you should be able to see that. So you've got a little under department compartment rather for um, accessories. Ah, so I was thinking the outer box was just like a shipping box, but obviously not, so that's just how they come. Um, there's a QR code you can scan as well. So it says there's a little included thing, you've obviously got a graphics card, there'll be some sort of power adapter, and then the documentation. So I think that's everything from this box, so I'm going to put this down below, um, and if we need to get that back up again, we can. Right, so in this much smaller, dinkier box, quick start guide, it's all kind of, they've gone for this, I don't know if it's beige, champagne, gold color stuff. Um, wouldn't have said that's a particularly NVIDIA move, but who knows. I'm wondering if this is meant to be like recyclable, like kind of that type of cardboard, it's all eco-friendly. Um, it's a quick start guide, not gonna bother with that, but this is interesting. Obviously you've got your 12 volt, 12 volt high power, um, the adapter for the graphics card power, and it's got four 8 pins. What I really like about this, however, is it's now this much more nice sleeved, kind of soft touch braid. It's longer, obviously, as well. The other one, I put some B-roll up of it, it was a lot shorter, and it was kind of this coarse, not very bendable nylon, whereas this one is super flexible, and being longer as well, that's going to give you a lot more leeway for uh, routing cables in a smaller build for instance but yeah no happy to see that i'm not going to be using one of these i'm just going to be using a standard a standalone a dedicated 12 volt high power anyway um but if you do want to use an adapter it is good to see they've gone for a higher higher quality option ah but for the moment you've all been waiting for i'm just going to drop that on the floor as well 
GeForce RTX 5090. Wow. And it looks like these bits pull away. I'm, tr I'm trying to do it in a way that you guys can all see as well, okay? And now, and now the top is going to lift off. Oh, wow. Boy. That is a nice looking graphics card. Obviously, I've, I wasn't at CES, um, but I saw all of the coverage, and I already obviously knew what the graphics card was going to look like. I did not expect. But there really is it's a, a pronounced dip in the, what is that, is that concave or convex? I always get them confused. But you can really see, I'll try and have to get some B-roll, but it's amazing how much kind of they've scooped out of the fin stack. Um, obviously, I've not tested this card, literally just unboxed it. It is a 575 watt, that's right, 575 watt total board power rating. Between me and you guys, I do not expect it to draw that much power and maybe one or two edge cases. If you look at the 4090, for instance, that barely drew, I want to say about 380 watts on average over 4K in my testing. Some games would get up close to that. If you enable path tracing, for instance, you will get more like 440, 450. I'd be surprised if this draws 575 watts regularly, but that is the total board power rating, so we'll have to see and put that through our testing. Quick pause there, just got the rest of things off the desk. Um, yeah, we're going to take a quick look around the card, and that'll basically be it for this video until I can show you performance later on in the week. So obviously, design-wise, NVIDIA Switch, both fans are now on the front side or the underside, depending on, on your perspective of the graphics card. They are both pushing air straight through and out the back. So NVIDIA calls it, what do they call it, the dual flow through design or double flow through design. With the 4090, you obviously had that one fan that was exhausting straight out. It was pulling, it, was, it would have been, which way? If you install it that way, it would have been here. There was one that was pulling air through and exhausting straight out. Um, but the other one, there was like a back plate area here. This, this time, air is blowing, blowing straight through. And that is apparently a large part of why NVIDIA is able to do just a dual slot card, which is rated for 575 watts. As part of that, they've shrunk down the PCB. You can kind of see there's the fin stack itself. Actually, the, the density of the fins decreases here. Because I imagine that the PCB must go from there to there. Uh, again, which is really interesting. From an engineering perspective, it is... It's fascinating, I have to say. If you haven't already, by the way, Steve from Gamers Nexus did a fantastic video with, I think his name was Malcolm, a chap from NVIDIA, thermal engineer from NVIDIA. Really, really smart guy. He basically walked you through a lot of the different design features, the um, thinking behind why NVIDIA did what they did for this card. Obviously, from an aesthetic perspective as well, I have to say I really like it. It's not kept the same entirely black design as we saw from like the 4080 Super, 4070 Super. There's... Still, it's a bit more dark grey, gunmetally grey accents. I think the GeForce RTX logo there is going to illuminate white. And you've got GeForce, you've got the RTX 5090 branding there. Um, and what I did learn as well, I saw another video, I think PC World did a video with, I forget the name, another NVIDIA representative, um, talking about how actually the I.O. and the PCI connector are separate daughter boards because the PCB is obviously so small, it doesn't extend all the way to the card. Again, very interesting. Yeah, and then you've got here, the it's now angled again. It was on the 30 series. 40 series, they made it vertical, but now angled, you've got the 12 volt high power connector. And that is the card. That is the unboxing experience. I think all that's left to do is crack on with testing. So if you enjoyed this video, toss me a thumbs up. Any questions, anything you want to see in the review, let me know, it's not too late. Um, obviously, I'm filming this ahead. The unboxing is going to go up on Monday. Um, I will be testing by then. So, yeah. If you enjoyed this video, guys, thumbs up, subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. Please do hop over to our Discord server as well if you want to carry on the conversation. We've also got links to our merch store down in the description if you want to help us out. Or you can even consider backing us on Patreon. But that's it with this one, guys. I'm Dominic for Kit Guru. I've been unboxing the very sexy RTX 5090. And now it's time to move on to testing.